on data. All I can do is repeat that we have emphasized right from the start uh, that this health crisis, this pandemic that we've all gone through, uh, we've always said that we need solid objective data, data which um, is robust and lasts in time so that we can uh, have a proper impact on the pandemic. Now, our approach has been validated by the fact that we have succeeded in having a good impact on the development of the situation. You can see this in Europe now. It's much better. We're one of the continents that have succeeded in putting the pandemic behind us to a large extent. Now, on this question, whether Commissioner Kyriakidis raised this issue uh, recently in her exchanges or not, I don't have any information. Tim doesn't either, but we will uh, put this question and we will come back to you with the answer. I'd like to say one other thing very clearly. We're relying on the World Health Organization which is following the situation of COVID-19 very closely around the world. We want the WHO to be fully involved and to uh, keep an eye on data as well, because that's very important. On the recommendations, David, well, uh, you'll be tired of hearing this. We are of course, using a scientific approach, but we have to put on the table as well all knowledge that we have. And we have to look at the circumstances as well in national terms. We have to look at what the member states know, those uh, which are very close to recent developments, before we can put any proposal on the table for possible recommendations. It depends on the situation. We will continue discussing, uh, but uh, we'll give more information once we have it. We have another question on COVID-19.